Well, it has been a spectacular start to the work week. Beautiful day outside. Mm -hmm. 75 degrees right now. Not bad, right? Yeah. Ryan Morris joining us now. And tomorrow going to be even warmer. Yeah, huh? I think we get warmer for tomorrow. We're going to start the day with clouds, but those clouds should break similar to what we saw for today. And then we'll make that run at 80 degrees. The thing is, eventually we're going to be tracking storm chances. A live look at our Wish TV tower cam camera. As I mentioned, those clouds breaking up this afternoon. We're at 75 degrees, but the wind direction is really driving up these temperatures. Sustained at 19 miles an hour, so breezy. We have some gusts up to 30. Look at the temperature statewide, 60 in South Bend and then 72 in French Lake. Right now, Indianapolis is the warmest in the state at 75 degrees. So definitely a warmer day. Storm tracker showing a stalled front just to our north. Eventually, this weak low pressure system will bring our rain chance, I think, tomorrow morning. And as we look at this evening's forecast, we should cl see clouds increase back in place as we track potentially for some of those morning showers, a couple rumbles of thunder. And as we look at future casts, so future casts through tonight, see those clouds increasing. That front stalls right around our area, and that will bring some isolated showers, a few rumbles of thunder tomorrow morning. But clouds decrease rapidly through the afternoon. Now, tomorrow evening, I won't rule out an isolated shower or storm, but our severe threat will be coming, I think, once we get late Tuesday night and now primarily into Wednesday. Tomorrow's forecast, isolated showers and storms in the morning. Could see another round of them in the afternoon. I think it's just a lower chance as you get into the afternoon. Tomorrow's forecast as a whole, clouds decrease late. We'll get up to 80 degrees, I think, for tomorrow afternoon. I think those winds actually underdoing it. Now to future casts as we get Tuesday night into Wednesday. So Scattered showers and storms potentially as we get into Tuesday night. Now, round one, I think we're going to have two waves of severe weather, the chance for severe weather. Keep in mind, the timing has been changing on this through the last 24 hours of system coming ashore on the West Coast. The timing much slower with the cold front as we get into the morning hours. Round one, the primary risk, I think, large hail within these cells. And then that front still very slow moving. So I think once we get into the early afternoon, we could see another line of showers and storms potentially on the stronger end of things before that cold front off to our east. So when we're talking about this system, it's also going to be breezy behind it. Late tomorrow night, the storm risk, slight risk. But now, newly for Wednesday, this was just issued this afternoon, an upgrade for us across most of the state. Statewide, we're in a slight risk. And overall, from the system, so I think round one, late Tuesday night into early Wednesday, large hail, the primary threat. Wednesday afternoon, damaging wind, a few isolated tornadoes may be possible. Overall, slight risk. Temperature trend after Wednesday system will finally start to quiet down and temperatures should be running pretty close to normal. Looking at the eight-day forecast, our normal high, we're hovering roughly around that as we head into next weekend. Right now, I have Easter Sunday as dry, temperatures into the mid-60s, but I think we'll have to be watching for a rain chance Sunday night and potentially into Monday.